It's the Moomin. It's the Moomin. It's the Moomin. You're watching a video of me drawing some pixel art Moomin landscape. I'm in a weird place. I'm in a weird place at the start of this video. I'm in a weird headspace. I don't know what, quite frankly, what I'm going to be saying. Nothing's changed. Uh, I appreciate you clicking on the video and I appreciate you watching. I am just some guy on the internet making art videos that are somewhat the same as everyone else's art videos, yet somehow a little bit different in, in a unique little way. And that's why you're creative too. You can post videos too. Do it. Spread the creativity. Spread the positivity. Get it going. Do something. Make something. Post it. Say something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Do you know about Moomin? Do you know about Moomin? Moomin's fucking great. If you don't know about Moomin, you need to get on Moomin. Watch some Moomin. I'm not talking about... Actually, you know what? They made a new animated show and it's like kind of like 3D CGI kind of um, rendered stuff. Uh, and it actually looks kind of cool. It looks like really unique. Um, it looks... I'm interested. I haven't, I haven't seen it, but... Back in the day, I used to watch the sort of the original animated series. I think it was like the original animated series. Um, I think it's like a, it's kind of, I'm pretty sure it was in Japan that they animated it. Might be wrong, but it's funny because it's just like this, this whole um, mix of, of, of different cultures. Because, you know, obviously Tove Jansen was a creative movement. She is a radical person. Just look up some Tove Jansen or Jansen, not quite sure, info. She, she, she's just great. Radical leftist anarchist kind of vibes from this lady who just drew little like trolls. Um, really cool. Uh, really great stuff. Just like stuff for kids, but things that adults also definitely need in their lives. Lessons that they need to. Um, just, just a masterclass. So get on Moomin, because it's chill, it's cute, big vibes. Snuff, m main man Snuffkin represent Poncho, Poncho King Snuffkin. Just great character, chaotic as fuck. Okay, do you have any good ideas, Snuffkin? Well, if we only had more crime here, they wouldn't be able to close down the station. Yes, but there's never any crime in Moomin Valley. Unless we commit some, I guess. What? Let's go and fill Moomin Valley with crime, come on! Just ready to do crime, whatever it takes, for the greater good. Chaotic good, for life. At this point, I've completely lost, derailed what I'm trying to say. I just wanted to say some chill vibes for this chill piece, um, just to get going, because I feel like there's always a danger that I'm going to get political, I'm going to get too political. And, and, and I know I've been posting weird shit lately. Um, don't worry, there's going to be more weird shit on its way, but also maybe with a more of a video game skew, because Nintendo news, bibbidi -bib 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 -bib, Nintendo news, um, lot, it's the Zelda's anniversary, Pokemon anniversary, there's going to be more Zelda and, and Pokemon and Mario news, the good stuff, what's needed to keep the dark times at bay. So yeah, so look out for new stuff, who knows what it's going to be. Um, but I've just been in a weird place where I think I've been a bit all over the place. I've been posting like portraits and then doing Hades videos that no one watches. It's just an hour long video of me playing Hades for no good reason. It's not a live stream. There's not great commentary. I don't know why you would watch it. But I felt like posting it. I'm in a weird place where I'm I'm kind of f freaking out a little bit about just doing work and being a professional. But I'm also just thinking, I just want to post shit all the time. I just want to make stuff and do it and just throw it out there onto the internet as if it means anything. But just because I just, I'm just on that level now, it's kind of like a weird obsessive thing now. I just, I'm always just want to just shove stuff online, whether that's just like retweeting shit on Twitter. I feel like we've all kind of slightly got it that in us. And I think obviously people's obsessions with social media is, can have negative effects for sure, obviously. I'm just on this sort of like hyperactive train of just like wanting to make loads of stuff, which is quite good. It's motivational, but it just it's just hard when you've got to also... 
Um, in the back of your mind, you're just thinking about money. Bullshit, isn't it? Capitalism. It's broken. It sucks. Well, look, fundamentally, this is what I was going to get round to saying towards the end of this little... I made some notes. Bad. Bad news. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, everyone who hates politics talk. That's what's in my mind at the moment. But just to cut to the end um, while we're here, look, if you stop thinking of life as this competition, if you stop thinking about all the human rules and laws that we've created as a society um, that don't don't positively um, affect us, you know, all the all the random shit, like the concept of money. I know you get born into this world and you get told that these things are just like universal constants and truths that must be obeyed and laws. But as soon as you start, you just have to literally, it's like, it's a razor thin perspective shift, I feel. Like, as soon as you just start, like, to look at things, like, how unnecessary it's that we've done that to ourselves, how pointless it is that we've created this horrible culture of just, like, you are only worth something if you're working, you are only worthy if you're making money, money is the best thing to be getting, because that just means you're going to get what you want, and, and also... Having said all that, the acknowledgement that we lived in this horrible world where people are desperate for money, people are poor, they're dying, they need money. So obviously saying things like money's not going to bring you happiness is, isn't going to solve poverty problems. People who are living, um, you know, uh, paycheck to paycheck or whatever. But it's more than that. It's bigger than that because that's part of the problem. That's why money's shit. You know, so we've created this whole system where it's fucking over huge percentages of the, the population. It's only serving a tiny little bar of pe people at the top. And, and at the same time, you have to look at that and add that in to the concept of what money is. So it's almost like you can't even really have the concept of money without the concept of like greed and corruption. It all comes in one package, clearly, because we're living through it. So stop looking at life as this thing that you're competing with everyone else um, just, to, just to get yours, you know? Because unfortunately, that... There's obviously examples of, of different types of people who are on that greed train, right? But fundamentally, it's right-wing politics that is about competition. They sell you it as, um, you know, uh, survival of the fittest. You know, they, they sell you it as, like, every man for themselves kind of thing. Like, don't you want the freedom to, to compete? Don't you want the freedom to 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 sort of like work your way up and and fulfill the dream of yours that you've always had and they sell you it as this sort of like really free will like fantasy that you're meant to be constantly aiming towards like a carrot on a stick and fundamentally it's all an illusion and there's somebody who's already won. And there's somebody there sitting there with a lot of money that you don't have. That is just like, that doesn't need to try. They've already made it. And the only reason why they can sit where they are is because of all the other people that are over there who are living in poverty. Why are you competing? You should be working together, caring about others, thinking of new concepts that are outside of what you think has to be the way. That's one of the things that I've been thinking about. Like idealism, utopia. It's these things that are just like every single time that you think, if you, that you say something like, Oh, that's just unrealistic. Oh, that's just um, that's just not gonna happen. Just why why bother worrying about it? You're just shooting yourself, and you're just like, there's no point in anything. Then you know what I'm saying. Going back to what I was talking about of the hippy dippy concept of like we're just people on a planet. We're just human beings, individuals being alive in the great cosmos around us. 
when you start that slight perspective shift on things, so many things become pointless. So many things are just like, what, what, why, why on earth have you been looking at your life that way? Why have you been looking at others like that? And it's always right wing politics. There might be bigwigs who say they're all liberal leftists and they're, they're also greedy and they're like corporate bureaucratic sort of sort of rich elitists. Sure. And they might say they're liberal, but the whole con that whole concept is just oozes with corrupt right wing politics because it's the same politics that they're getting away with all that shit because of the right wing politics that right wing people love to talk about of like freedom like leave me alone big government leave me alone let me let me work my way up and do my thing and all all you're sort of saying when when you say that is like you're happy with how things are you you want to be left alone whilst you don't have very much and whilst they have everything and you don't want to even think or try or contemplate on the idea that we could try and attempt to make a government and, and an organization and a society that is about like fairness and, and, and giving people a good chance. I feel like we're in it now. I feel like I've ranted. I've gotten off my chest what I wanted to. I promise not every single video is gonna be so politics heavy but it's on my mind because everyone's like exhausted. We just want to live in this little Moomin Valley, don't we? We want to live in this little house with our friends. We want to get on with each other. Look, you're lucky that I didn't just start cold open this, this video with, with a, a double down news video that, um, that I saw that I was going to post. I literally was just going to start this video with, with a different, um, different person, just something I saw recently um, on Twitter from a, a great uh, organization called Double Down News. Obviously, um, yeah, I just I just sort of want to do a slight follow up to last yeah, last video, uh, last drawing video that I did. It's talking about right wing, right wing beliefs, left wing beliefs, all that stuff. <clears throat> and obviously, I don't know. I just feel like there was a few things that I kind of left, um, and that I was actually thinking about. I was thinking about words and how they've sort of failed. You know, uh, the communication is hard, and it seems like there's lots of miscommunication going on. And that's where I sort of left it. And I've just been thinking there's a few things that I kind of forgot to say and that was on my mind. So I'm gonna. I'm, I'm going to try and fit them in here. But obviously, part of this whole thing is that this is just one video. You can't really include every topic in, in every video. I've seen lots of people on Twitter actually recently talking about this type of thing, making jokes about it, how it feels like every statement that you make, people always see it as like, that's it, the definitive statement. You haven't thought about this one little thing that someone could you know, interpret from what you've said or, or, oh, you've said that, but why aren't you talking about this? And it's like, well, I wasn't talking about that, was I? So there's, there's, a, there's also that added element of like every statement or everything that's being said needs to somehow encompass the entirety of like every issue in one. Uh, and if you don't do that, then you're you're biased. Or if you don't do that, you're you're ignoring part of the problem or something. And it's sort of like no, we we're just all having this conversation, aren't we? Um, and 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 so sometimes you might I I definitely do it all the fucking time. <laughs> but you might say something, and it's not it's not like you haven't you haven't thought about every single which way it could be interpreted or every single which way every single thing that you've sort of missed out like even if it's a small minor thing and i feel like people are always ready to jump on those things they're always ready to sort of um you know or call you out for not mentioning something so that's an aspect that i missed out um but the other thing the other thing that i was um truly thinking about it, it related to that is so there's this aspect of communication and talking about these things that I feel like gets overlooked and I guess you could just literally call it social maturity or like social intelligence you know people who are good at good at conversation with all sorts of different types of people you can have like these people who are very articulate but they they literally couldn't like even bring themselves to talk to someone of like a different cultural or regional background or whatever. So 
this idea, this concept that I've been thinking about that sort of maybe gets overlooked is, um, you know, it, it's this idea, I've been thinking about it and it was related to the p past video that I was going on about that I just forgot to, to mention. You know, there's a phrase called a suspension of disbelief. You know, so how you're watching a film <clears throat> and some crazy wild thing happens, right? M whether it's like magic or a, a stunt that is in the film that couldn't happen in real life. Suspension of disbelief is when you <clears throat> you withhold your thoughts of like, oh, well, that couldn't happen. Oh, well, that's not realistic. Oh, well, that's that's not, um, you know, that's not real. That's not true. That could never happen. You withhold that because you're enjoying the story. You're enjoying the film. I feel like there is this social version of that that more people need to have within themselves. They, I don't think this is a new idea, a new concept. That's not what I'm saying. But I've, I basically, I was just thinking about it the other day and I realized it's quite a good analogy. People like to condense certain viewpoints down to the, the most dramatic or like awkward or like cringe people that you might not totally agree with. And you condense down their whole like political belief to that one thing. I believe sometimes it's important like if you're talking to a racist who who hates a certain group of people, you can't just ignore that aspect. That's ridiculous. That viewpoint is full of hate, full of full of uh, disconnect and unnecessary sort of anger. That's not what I'm talking about. Like that that needs to be dissected, and unfortunately, that person needs to learn and grow and develop. But what I'm talking about is what the right then do to the left is that you'll have someone that they consider. This is not me saying this. We've all got that friend or someone who says cringy things or like goes maybe a little bit too far or like you hear them and it's awkward because maybe they don't they're not 100 percent down with like social cues or things like that but while you're having a conversation with them it might be with other people in the room or or or, or whatever but while you're in the middle of conversation you let things slide and so in that way i feel like there's this there's this idea that i'm sort of like trying to articulate of listening to someone's beliefs and then there might be something that you're like oh that goes a bit too far that's quite extreme but the fundamental idea is true. And I think literally so much of the discourse online could be could be solved, essentially, if more people, I mean, on the left and on the right, but it's mostly the right because because a left wing social justice warrior, the worst thing that the right could describe, you know, a leftist, right? The fundamental end game for that is like, it's like that meme of fucking The Simpsons meme with the lawyer. If there's one thing America needs, it's more lawyers. Can you imagine a world without lawyers? Oh. What, like, what is this horror world that people, the, the right, like to pin on the left, you know? But anyway. If, if more people could listen to ideas being talked about without with, with sort of but whilst taking a step back and like acknowledging like social aspects where, oh, OK, so the way they've worded that I, doesn't vibe with me. But that way that what they're fundamentally saying is a good, positive thing that I also agree with. I just feel like that needs to happen more, and maybe it is, who knows? I don't know, am I crazy? Like, I know this is like such an obvious thing. I feel like so many of these videos are just me saying super obvious shit. But time and time again, it's always surprising. As I've said, we're in a conversation with so many different beliefs and people around the world. But anyway, there's that disconnect, isn't there? One of the things that pisses me off as well is, is that more people need to learn about their biases. More people need to acknowledge, like, if you've lived your life in one place for a long period of time, in one way, who are you to say whether or not 
a thing is happening in another place. Because that's part of this too. Like, I know I said at the start about, like, you can't include every topic. But there's this idea, I feel like a lot of these things seem to come down people believing other people. Because it's the same type of thing. Someone says something and people don't believe what they've said. Oh, they're being too extreme. Oh, they're saying that doesn't happen. That's so much of what this conversation is as well. Um, and it's it's just so nuts to me that you can't you're not aware of like how crazy it is to say to someone oh you didn't experience that or no that didn't happen the right loves to loves this idea because I've seen it more and more recently loves this idea that everything's performative all these all these positive ideas of oh equality and oh we need to fight for justice oh it's all just a performance it's all just a grand display of like pretending and it's like if you think that then your life must be so perfect your life must be like a dream and you don't ever question anything because it's all great and the government is amazing and I love to live in this land. <laughs> like, that's what it makes it sound like when people complain about stuff, people are trying to fight for change and, and people don't believe them. It's like, what world are you living in? Like, where you are against people fighting for, like, positive things, for equality. Where, where, do, where do you turn that into this thing where it's like oh god no i don't like that that affects me somehow it's just mind blowing it's just truly mind blowing and i don't think i'll ever get it but you know what maybe people just need to read a bit more moomin tales from moomin valley you know have a little have a little read of that one but eventually after you watching hundreds of these little arty videos with a crazy long hair hippie talking at you maybe a few of these these ideas are gonna rub off on you <laughs> anyway i hope you like this little pixel art drawing i've been feeling pretty drained and tired in general works weird i get stressed out every time i get an email that's not something that i'm instantly interested in if it's like a weird commission i'm, I'm a bit like oh god it like exhausts me straight away i'm, I'm just in a weird feeling mood where like I don't think I can be a full-time animator. Like, I don't think I, I can animate more than just, like, a GIF for people. I really struggle to, like, get the motivation to do a huge, like, 30-second to, like, three-minute animation. It's, like, mind-blowing. No one ever has the funds. But, like, GIFs are all right. I like doing GIFs. So, please, commission me to do a GIF. I hope you're doing all right out there genuinely um literally the world's crazy fucking texas is frozen um i hope you're doing all right so much shit has gone on just listen to people man listen to people listen to them and their worries and maybe you'll realize that you've got some of the same worries too and then you'll realize that like we should be working together to overthrow corrupt elitist politicians uh, corporate, you know, the corporate world and its capitalistic grasp on all of us. Um, and, and we can all sort of like get along while we do it, innit? Oh, I've gone away too. Let me let one second. Let me just, let me just see if I've hit all these points. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Propaganda. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Learn to listen to those that you might be triggered by. Leftist ideals promote empathy. Um, but it doesn't mean that like people calling themselves left wing politicians. We're being shown that by Joe Biden. Right. Look, there's these ideas that there's left party, left wing parties, but. Jesus Christ, the Democrats aren't left wing. They're just like fucking, they're just the same. It's nothing, no change, no change. Donald Trump wasn't any change. It was just a horrible thing to look at. Joe Biden, no change. It's just a, a slightly nicer version, like to watch on TV, not spewing hate all the time. But still shit. And that's just coming from someone from the UK. We've got our own version. 
It's all garbage. There's just people, corrupt people in the system trying to take advantage of you. And I don't know why that doesn't... <laughs> there is no world to me where that, which lots of libertarian people agree with, I just don't see how that turns into right-wing politics. Because right-wing politics is literally just survival of the fittest, fuck everyone else. I'm like, this is, this is, like, a, this is like an exorcism that's happening right now. I just need to say all this. It's all on my mind. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind. I just wish I was in this little meadow speaking to Snufkin and he could tell me it's all going to be okay. <laughs> That's what I need. Rather than just making content for, for a website that doesn't give a shit about me. <laughs> anyway, more often than not, they aren't going to... Yeah, they're not good enough. Left politics. Politicians, they're never good enough. Bernie Sanders... Fucking rad. AOC, fucking rad. Jeremy Corbyn in the UK, fucking rad. Caroline Lucas of the Green Party, rad. Yep, done that. Said that, yeah, I think also the thing that gets in the way of all this is ego. We're all these egos in bags of skin. We all think we're right. We all think we're perfect. We all think, well, maybe we don't. We, you don't even need to really think you're perfect to have an ego. I think that's one thing that people forget like you can still like not have the best self-worth or whatever but you can still be trapped by ego like trapped by the idea that what you're thinking is what everyone else is thinking or like what you're thinking is the right way to do things anyway you might see this as idealistic but i think life's too short not to be that's what i wrote down right here that was the last thing i wrote so we've come to an end. This has been a hella long video for me. Um, and I don't know whether this is a great drawing. It's a bit too similar to my last piece, you know, a little tower and a landscape. But what are you going to do? Um, I'm, I'll, I'll need to try and switch it up in some other videos in the future. Be idealistic. That's what I want to ignite. And especially centrists. They're the worst. Life is too short not to, like, care about the idea of existing in a world where we're striving for a good thing. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Go watch some Moomin. Go read some Moomin. Thanks for being here. I'm done now. I feel like I'm just going to go to sleep now or play some video games. I appreciate you being here. Regardless, you're great. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching these shitty little videos. I love you. That was too much. I came on too strong there. I don't. I don't know who you are.